Dan Matheny presents Arctic Linux install and tips on Pipewire and eLogin D. How's everybody doing? Anyway, last week I didn't have my surgery. I had an endoscopy, but I couldn't understand because of how my brain's wired and I misunderstand things a lot. You know, just like I misunderstood how everything works, but today has been a learning experience. And I'm just going to talk about a couple things. Pulse Audio was working fine for me until I decided to install Arctic Linux. Now everything has gone fine, okay? Just Pulse Audio has not been working right for me for whatever reason. So I've had to install Pipewire. I was originally going to talk about how to shut down with Elog and D, and I'm still going to talk about that. But anyway, I'm going to talk about Pulse Audio a little bit and a substitute for Pulse Audio if you're having problems. Pipewire is, I would say it's cool because I don't have to have permissions to set it up. Usually, you know, when you do user add, you know, dash A, capital G, and whatever group you want that user in, you know, myself, Dan, I added myself to the audio group, everything worked, that's great. Then I started having problems, and at first I thought it was something I did wrong, and it wasn't because my configs were right, everything was right, because I'm very particular about setting things up, and with Elog ND, you know, it's basically Arch Linux with Run It. That's what Arctic Linux is. It's really not much different to me. And that's my opinion, you know, and everyone is entitled, but you're only losing a couple of megabytes. You're not really losing much, but I do love how snappy it runs, and I feel like it was worth it because I did miss doing a mainline install. I mean, I've installed Arch, you know, Clam style, you know, but I, I take off a lot of stuff. I like doing the Clam way because it's a lot faster, but really there's no preference and it doesn't make you dumb. But to run an operating system like this, you really got to read your documents. You got to read your wikis and Arch wikis the best, but Gen 2 wiki is pretty good too. And that's where I found a lot of this information from. I can pull it back up. I probably will. Anyway, let me go ahead and get to it. So, run it is basically if I, I'm going to take my mouse and show you and actually what I should do is zoom in. So I'm going to zoom in here and just kind of go down the list and show you guys. So you know simple screen recorder and cheese is running of course because that's my favorite because I'm as cheesy as can be. But anyway I, I, I love the simplicity of run it and I think that's why I wanted to do it because you know with things in the past it was harder to set up but I do love the simplicity of it all. There's only a couple differences really you know, uh, but eLog e D is, is a pretty beneficial thing, I think, so far, using it. Um, so I'll just go to the terminal. I'll show you what my XNIT RC looks like. So I don't know how right I'm doing everything, but, you know, but this is pipe wire. That's kind of why I brought that up. I'm always running. Okay, but anyway, I ran it like this. You know, it didn't have ampersands in the uh, config. That's how I've gotten it to run right, and this is to, you know, replace Pulse Audio. And, w you know, if you want things to auto mount, you know, you have to install the GBFS, the UDISC2 for PC ManFM and all the other file managers. Instead of just exec DWM, you have to do exec dbus launch exit with dash dash exit dash with dash session DWM. Okay, if you're running your window manager, whatever that window manager is, and I like to run DWM and uh, I had uh, ended up repatching everything for DWM and uh, I'll tell you why and honestly I probably wasn't going to make a video today at all I will show you uh, some commands from eLog and do you know what I'll just pull up the browser right quick and you know I think Brave will probably work fine now but I installed Firefox just because I didn't have to critique anything with the sound and, just works it's, you know and I'm not like a fan of Firefox but sometimes you just want to run things that work until you can get what you want working but anyway e log in D okay so I'm gonna talk about this a little bit I talked about Pipewire a little bit and I know I didn't get all the information right but I don't care okay so basically you have these different options that you can read and I think this is a great wiki to read off of for for e log in D okay and, and this is exactly what I was talking about so that way you can get everything running the way you want with your applications and stuff and this is really a big thing this is like what I want to talk about a lot of people you know are gonna do what I did like 10 years ago they're gonna they're gonna try to 
get rid of the password for, you know, sudo shutdown h now even though it's s, it was an s bin and now it's like in bin on Artix. With login control, that's the uh, command, login ctl, power off, login ctl, reboot, and then login ctl, suspend. You know, I have it set up in my aliases, you know, just for the heck of it, but I'm not gonna, I'm not, probably, I'm probably not gonna use the aliases very much that I have set up for it. Everything has been working fine. To me, it's just like another version of Arch. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this quick video today. I hope that you guys are doing well. I got my next doctor's appointment May 27th, and we're gonna see what we do next. I know I'm getting closer to surgery. Anyway, see ya. This has been a Dan Matheny production.